I'm going to go over the fight first, and then at the end, I will go over my party and equipment. Like any at the very beginning of the fight, moves, Sephiroth like is going to use a move called Heartless Archangel, right? which will drop like everybody's average, HP like down to 1. What I recommend one doing here class, is sitting I'm on right? your <laughs> ATB and not like doing anything till right before he hits I, it. I uh, pop your Kirega here. Get, uh, that way you don't use any uh, ATB, but you would get some limit meter that way you already get a little bit extra and since Aerith's going to be healing the most uh, you need her to get as much as possible so you'll want to use Kirega ASAP right after then you want to switch to cloud and you want to grab sanctuary use it at basically once he hits max ATB any sooner it'll go way too fast you'll want to make sure you swap back to Aerith get that Kirega up and then back to cloud to get another sanctuary because you're going to need three stacks if you're like in my situation and you otherwise you won't survive the shadow flare that Sephiroth's going to be using. In the next phase here, Sephiroth's going to use a bunch of just physical uh, single target attacks. So heal up as much as you can and grab your DPS characters and make sure they are only attacking with their strongest move with max attack stance and use Aerith manually as well to go into defensive mode, mode and heal. That way you're maximizing both damage and healing. At yeah, the end of this phase, too, Sephiroth like, will select a target to use Octoslash against. You're going to want to make sure that Sephiroth has enough ATB left over from attacking to use his um, bar barrier ward on that unit. And you also want to make sure that unit's going to have max HP or close nice. to max HP, especially if they have low physical defense like my Cloud does here. So he required a lot of uh, health in order to survive an attack like this. After the Octa Slash, you'll want to make sure everybody has roughly equal HP for the next phase that's coming up, which is a Sigil phase. In this phase, you want to make sure your DPS units are using moves like Aurora Blow or Arrow, as that will do three times as much damage during this phase while Sephiroth is weak to wind. What I do here, as you can see, is I'm swapping back and forth between Cloud and Sephiroth to make sure that I'm hitting him at max attack stance to get the most damage I possibly can out of this phase because it is a big, big deal to maximize what you can here and let Aerith or whoever your healer is sit back and do what she needs to do. I would highly recommend switching into defense mode anytime you see an AoE magic move coming, which in this scenario would be Quagga. Um, sometimes you can do it, sometimes you can't, depends on how close your uh, sigil is going to be. From there, once again, make sure every time you're doing any kind of attack, your units are in maximum stance. And then at this point, you should have full limit meter oh God, and okay. summon gauge for everybody so you that's the way you can stay in attack mode and again maximize your damage by getting the multiplier for the damage which will also multiply the healing this way you don't have to go into defense mode and you still get a good healing amount out of it okay i didn't okay perfect sephiroth after the sigil phase will go back to regular attacking from here you just kind of do what i've been saying to do attacks uh with your dps at max stance and then go into defensive mode to get an, a nice aoe heal with your healer watch out for the move called kaishin it is an AoE physical attack move that Sephiroth will do. I usually recommend going into defense mode when he does it. Otherwise, you'll take about a thousand damage per character. And that just makes, you know, makes healing a little bit tougher. Um, and it just helps block as much damage as possible. Again here, uh, Sephiroth's going to go with another Octoslash. You'll want to see, look at who he's targeting. Make sure you get uh, two solid barriers up from Sephiroth. Make sure that character is at full health. If that character is at full health, it is totally right, fine good. to sit on max AT. Right with now. your healer since that's their main job this way you can heal them ASAP right out of the gate uh, once the Octo Slash is done the next phase Sephiroth will basically become immune to all uh, elements and physical and magic you can no, quickly get in a thunder blade if you're quick enough um, granted it's, it's not a huge deal if I mean, you don't get it a uh, it's a this is probably the easiest phase in the game <laughs> in the whole fight honestly you just get his sigils down um, and once they are down um, it, it's pretty much just you know your standard sigil phase you're just gonna you know pop off with as much damage as you can control your DPS again maximize the damage uh, and then once again as soon as you get up to a summon uh, both summons for both characters because you're likely going to be using them because because of elements, you'll want to pop them ASAP to maximize damage and get back to summons again as quick as you can. Okay, we're at about mat half HP after this. So that's in good. We're in a good spot. I like that. 
we can heal here in a second. As you can see right here, I go into defensive mode for Kaishin to limit the amount of damage I take. Again, just, just helps out a little bit. You can see everybody now is at max HP, so I can kind of just sit back with my healer. Even let her attack if I want to uh, to let her deal as much damage, but I'd rather just save that ATB uh, for the coming things and you know heal, heal as necessary. Again, make sure you're using Kira for a single target since it'll heal more. At this point, Sephiroth's going to use Heartless Angel on a single target, so instead of the whole party. And what you absolutely need to do here is make sure you have as much Good. ATB as possible like on your that. healer to do a single target heal at minimum twice uh, to that unit because Sephiroth is going to target that unit with an Octo Slash right after. So you also want to make sure Sephiroth or whoever has the defensive up use that ability as well on that same on that same character to make sure they have as much HP as possible. If you're using Aerith, absolutely do not use Healing Wind here for any kind of healing. You will need it later on. Um, otherwise, you have no chance of finishing this fight. Is everybody at a limit yet? I don't know. From this point on, Sephiroth isn't going to do really much to you. So you really just want to attack, 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 even with your healer if you want to. Just de dish out as much damage as you can. I would say if you're below about 2,500 HP, go ahead and heal that one person up just to be on the safe side. Um, otherwise, stay in attack mode. Don't get out of it. Um, because Sephiroth's not going to do any move here that's going to kill you. Um, even though he will at some point use Hell's Gate. Um, you just want to make sure you're in defensive mode for that. It shouldn't do too much to kill anybody. You'll notice everybody will get a physical defense down debuff. You want to make sure you take control of the person who can get rid of that debuff. So that way they are not doing that because you, it's actually not a threat at this part in the fight. Once Heartless Archangel goes off, you want to make sure that you're using Healing Wave ASAP. If everybody has all their limits up or limits or summits up, use them right away because you're going to be everybody's going to be at one HP and you absolutely need to get a uh, healing started early because if you don't, you're actually going to die at the end of this point. Uh, there's just there's really no coming back from this without insane heals. Um, and then what you're going to do after all this is do not heal right away. I mean, you can it depending on everybody else's ATB. However, he's going to go into Masamune in waiting and you're likely going to need to hit him five times with five different attacks to make sure you end that phase. As soon as Sephiroth is no longer stunned, he is instantly going to target somebody with Octo Slash. Right, so you absolutely okay. need to make sure that whoever has okay. the physical defense um, buff available, you need to have them use it and have the ATB available for the person they're going to be targeting. If you are not ready for this, uh, he's going to have big attack and you're very likely not going to survive. This is probably going to be the the one spot where afterwards you can deal a ton of damage, but if you're not prepared, you're going you're gonna to have a really bad time. At this point, he's going to go back into a regular attack phase. So again, make sure your DPS are only attacking at full attack stance. You're also going to want to watch out for another Hell's Gate. And remember, use the unit that has the physical defense up buff. Otherwise, they're going to use it to get rid of that physical defense down. And you don't need to worry about that. You just let, okay. let the game do its thing because it's not going to be a threat based on the things that are going to be happening at this point in the fight. Sephiroth will do another Masamune in waiting here. So again, you need to just make sure you have enough ATB to get it down yeah, we're, and we're then start attacking as much as you can. I healed up in this one. fight, in this portion, even though I didn't need to. Um, but go. yeah, you just want to actually go crazy oh, on the... Uh, DPS here because here he's going to use another Heartless Archangel and it's going to lower everybody's health down to one again. So again, you can sit on ATB with your healer, make sure your DPS are just dishing out as much as you can. And the goal here on this part is to try and get all three limits and summons together once again to maximize healing and damage. Max limit. That's good. This part is essentially a just just a repeat of the very start of the entire fight. He's going to prepare to use another Shadow Flare here. So this perfect. is why you need perfect, to have perfect, that perfect. healing okay, wave uh, readily healing available, available as well as the really ATB good. because you need to get up to HP as much as possible. Position. Now, if you do have the summons and healing wave right and everything now. like I show, I'm show i showing here, um, you'll want to make sure that you grab Cloud and up. that way he has the ATB that's necessary to, again, get up that magic defense that you're going to need to protect yourself against the the oncoming uh shadow flare otherwise if you don't have it because he's over there attacking you're, you're going to have a bad time and you're likely going to die here so again make sure just do the same thing uh sanctuary twice up if you can and then um and then also heal with your AO aoe heals is what you're going to need at this point um and then you know use your uh use the little little limit trick as much as you can 
And from here on out, it's basically just going to be a DPS race. So you really just are just going to be attacking as much as you can with your DPS, right kind of trying goal. to get them up to a limit because he's going to hit somebody with an Octa Slash at some point. And if you're in the situation I was in, nobody, no matter what you do, is going to be able to survive. So you basically just want to keep healing with your with your healer um, and then just attacking with your... Um, with your DPS and then defending as necessary Perfect. when again with that hell's gate right, right there really you want to make sure you're not allowing uh, your unit that has the defense option to heal so he's going to use the heartless angel here on a single unit again he's going to go ahead and he's going to um, okay. use octa slash on that same unit Jeez, right man. after there's on, absolutely right, no so reason to heal them or do anything for them um, so don't waste your time and as you can see I opt to heal cloud here instead of Sephiroth because so it's more important that the only DPS I'm going to have left survives uh, the next uh, basic attacks that Sephiroth's going to have um, no, versus anyone else oh, and if you saw right there evil. Sephiroth instead oh, used a defensive yeah. option on me instead of hitting him which which could have been detrimental depending on the the situation uh, I here can't believe you did that. so right, from here on out the goal is to just dish, dish out as much damage as possible it really doesn't matter if you try to be defensive here um, you, you there's really not many okay. defensive options you know the only thing would be is if you he uses Hellgate you want to defend but outside of that you just stay in attack mode attack 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 and then just the single target heal as necessary um, and then and if you're able to get the job done, you will and you'll win. Hopefully this guide helps you guys out and allows you to clear the fight. If so, uh, let me know. I think it's pretty cool. It's a pretty hard fight. I had a lot of fun doing it. it took me about uh, 30 tries or so, but um, you know, it was enjoyable. And I like some of these harder challenges, especially if I'm just barely, barely scraping by, um, but not being a whale and everything. It, it makes it that much more fun. Okay. Because we need to, we just need, we need to get to a limit. <laughs> Bad. Come on, dude. We're so close. Let's go. One limit. We're going to get it, baby. Let's go. We're watching this limit. We are watching this limit. Let's go. Gaming. There it is, baby. Woo. Took some work, man. That took so much work. Oh my gosh, that took so much work. There it is. Dang. Ah, uh, now beat EX3. <laughs> oh man, that was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. How long did that take? Uh, nine minutes flat. Boy, felt like forever, didn't it? That was crazy. Planets leader. Okay. We got the five gems. I just want them 500 gems, man. Give me them gems. That was a, that's a crazy fight. I'm so glad I didn't have to dump anything. I have like 500 tickets, something chilling that I, I could have probably used to get to clear it easier potentially, but good stuff. And I'll go over real quick just so you guys can see again my, my setup. Uh, so Sephiroth here using the uh, edge wings for the damage, obviously. How uh, neat is that? That's pretty neat. <laughs> you got the solid barrier here. Uh, giving me the physical defense up. Pretty much have to have that for this fight. I, I would have been screwed if I didn't have that. Uh, the ec the Ruin Blow, which gave me the HP and the physical defense that I needed on Seth to survive things. Otherwise, he would have died. Uh, Arrow Blow for the for the wind uh, situations. Um, the Aurora. Again, I needed that HP. I could have put magic on it, but I needed the HP. Um, as you saw a couple times, he nearly died. So that's why I had to have the HP. And then same thing on Ruinra. HP gave me some magic defense and uh, physical defense because his his magic attack was pretty good with the sub equipment. Uh, man, this this thing is a godsend, right? This is such a good such a good weapon to have on on just in general. So umbrella coming in clean. Um, this one for the HP magic defense, uh, and then the collar here for HP and physical defense. Over to Aerith. You know the queen fairy tale gotta have it. You know if I had this thing at OB six, it would have probably helped a lot, good chunk more, because um, we would have had a, a bit better AOE healing, six percent, not huge, but it helps, and it would have also probably uh, helped maybe a little bit elsewhere, just from uh, a stat increase wise. Um, and then the stick, dude, the stick, the stick prevails. Guard stick, throwing guard stick in, level eighty, crazy heal. Doesn't do anything else. It just gives me crazy heal stat. Uh, I had to have my heal stat about 2,200. <laughs> I probably could pull it off still around 2,100, 2,000. Um, 
Level 10 Healing Wind. Level 10 is probably not 100% necessary, but you could uh, use like 8 or 9 probably as well. Single target Kira. Pretty much have to have this bad boy. I put this one on even though I have others um, because it gave me the defenses and she needed big defenses. Everybody does. Um, and then the circle because nobody else really has circle except Sephiroth and I need it on. I need I need like a it's spread. I need my sigil spread across everybody. Again, big heal there uh, and big heal on the ice of the Blazer here. So that's kind of what I went for. Sub equipment. HP, magic defense, pretty straightforward. Everything here is mostly defensive. HP, physical defense, and then here, HP, physical defense. So, defenses, physical defense is way more important in this fight than magical, because magical only helps against the, uh, the, the uh, shadow flare. And then cloud, big boy of the damage man, who just has big HP, hardly any stats otherwise to survive. Uh, so using Murasame here. If I could have taken this to OB, OB, uh, OB-10, we'd be pumping out a lot more because it would have taken me to another uh, lightning potency boost, but it's all right. We survived otherwise. Uh, pretty much have to have something like this, have to have Sanctuary. Without it, I would have been cooked. So this is why I grabbed this weapon back when I did, when it came out. Um, it even has the buff debuff extension on it, which is pretty sweet. So uh, it does help a little bit if you put a buff there, but we're not going to put a materia buff on that because we need it for damage. We need to do a lot of damage. And eight, you know, here's here's... Quake era, pretty much these two. Arrow blow, used for that big damage spot. And then your, you know, typical triangle. Rinra blow. Most of for him, I, I focused on attack damage and then uh, survivability. So combination of two. Over here, these, uh, the Mad Minute helps with survivability and damage because it's got the boost HP and physical ability potency. And the uh, Tifa's Amarant Claws, another killer weapon. Boost HP, boost physical damage potency. And then again... Zidane Sword, boost physical attack, boost physical attack potency. Uh, all really good stuff to just, that way I am just pumping it out once I'm once I'm at max stance. This is why I always tell people, take control, make sure your guys are only attacking at max stance because they're not attacking at max stance. You're losing a ton of damage. Like his, his damage literally drops by more than half when he's not attacking in max stance. It could be like just a sliver off and you, you're missing out on like a seven, 8,000 damage. It's insane. So that's the setup there, man. Glad to finally be done with it. <laughs> Sephiroth Solo Crash 2 completed. Ugh, it's out of here. It's out of my hands. I'm done. So, uh, that was awesome, man. That was, that was pretty sweet. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels. And I will see you guys on the next video.